Hello Connexit family, welcome to Connexit training videos. Today in this video, I'll be showing you a use case where you can actually create and post inside your Facebook groups. So whenever there is a new post on WordPress, yes, you heard it right. So whenever you create a new post on WordPress, so you can actually automate it to create the same thing inside uh, your Facebook group. So let me show that how to do that by using Connexit. So let's start by creating our workflow. So click on create connect button. Uh, WordPress is an webhook enabled app, so you don't need to authorize it. So I'm gonna name the my connect as WordPress post to Facebook group post. So let's search for WordPress. So based on the instructions provided, so we have to select for new post created or post published or post created. So based on the instructions provided here, you have to paste your webhook instructions. So we are using a plugin called WP Webhooks. So for you know sending data from WordPress. So make sure you go to WordPress. First thing is you can search for plugin that is WP Webhooks. So I already activated it inside Connexit. So inside our application. So what you can do is you can click on add new and you can select uh, the same plugin. So you can search for a plugin and you can install the plugin. So and click on activate. So once you activated the plugin, so you have to go to settings and WP webhooks. So when you click on that, so there is an option called send data so you can click on send data and search for your respective trigger so basically right now i'm just showing an example so when or the post created so i'm gonna select the, my trigger as post created and here they will get an option of add webhook url so now i'm gonna add a webhook url it asks me for a name i'm gonna give the name as connected demo and then the URL so you have to go to connect it and copy the webhook URL and paste inside this particular URL location and click on add for post create so yes now we placed the webhook URL successfully so there's one more thing you have to do so just click on these three buttons here and click on settings so where you have to select the post option inside trigger on selected post types and also make sure you select trigger on initial post status change so that is on published so otherwise it will go up uh, you know send the data whenever there is it's a draft so you don't need that so you just need whenever it is been published so that's the reason you have to select this and select the post and then click on save settings so that's it so once this has been done so now we will go to connects it and click on capture response so this will going to capture the response from wordpress so let me capture my response so i will go to wordpress and create a post so click on add new post and i'll be selecting a post as something called connects it demo and then type a add block uh, something so I'm gonna say this so I'll just copy some content over here and go to just paste it and then click on publish so before that I will be selecting an image also for the post I will be selecting an image so just set the featured image yes feature image is and now I'm gonna publish my post yes connects it demo is live so now go, go to our thing so it's been we captured so you can see that so there is a link for thumbnail and there is a link that is a post link and also you have the, all the data inside post 
so you can click on that so you will be having the author name and the posted date and also the post content and with the post title so you can use this for uh, posting the same thing inside uh, your community or like you know you can use as as like you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the take the same thing so first i will use connect it merge option that is text merge option inside text formatter so to create a content so of my post so this is optional so i'm going to use that i'll just select the title from my post and then i'm gonna do i will be selecting a url that is post permalink on connect sheet so now let me merge this so i'll just say that a post by name that is title is created please check the same so I'll add that link as well I just added that link that is the post link and also the title and click on validate so this will go to validate the data on text formatter so now I will be using Facebook group search for Facebook and select Facebook group over here and select the account and select the trigger as post message so basically you can post it and you can have an option to choose the community so where basically you will be selecting the Facebook group and now you will be posting the message so now I will be using this particular message over here and also the URL which I got it from thumbnail I will be using it as the URL and just click on test and review so this will go into post and message inside my Facebook group. So now I will go ahead and publish my connect. So let's connect it publish successfully. So now let's go to our community and refresh my page. Yes, guys. So you can see that a post by name that is connected demo is created please check the same here we have the link when i click on that link so this will go into my demo wordpress site so it has the content and also the feature image so everything so now the same thing is been published over here you can see that it has been published from connected so this is how you can actually publish on facebook group so whenever you create a new post inside wordpress so let's go ahead and test this so let me go ahead and add new post so i'll go here to wordpress and click on add new so i'm gonna take any content so let me name the content i'll go to connect it just choose any blog so I'll just name it as connect it to overview so I'll just select that as blog title and so let me go ahead and add an image so I'll be selecting a feature image so I'll just upload my file so any of the screenshot I'm gonna select here so I'll be adding a post so that looks like some screenshot of my workflow so I'll be setting as featured image so yes everything is set now so now let me go ahead and publish my connect so let's publish the connect post is published successfully inside WordPress so now as per our connect so as per our the use case so that will be any request on connects it web book from wordpress that will trigger a post message on facebook group so basically it will create a merge option for a post so now let's go to facebook community and refresh our page boom so we have the post over here so that is a post 
a connect sit overview to 2021 is created please check the link so we have that link and when we click on that link it will redirect me for the wordpress link and it is been posted from connect sheet. so this is how you can actually create an automation use case a new post on facebook community so whenever there is a new post on wordpress hope you guys like this integration if you have any questions on this particular integration do drop us on the comment section below we will be happy to help thanks for watching this video guys have a great day